Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the Piddlemouth Course series. Today we are up in Little Astreath. We are in Little Astreath, yep, nearly uh, nearly had a moment there, forgot what the town were called. Uh, yeah, we are up in Little Astreath today, just keeping an eye on what's been going on. In the last episode, we were down at Great Mudton putting in the tram link and, uh, and basically getting that a little bit more up, uh, up and running, getting a few more passengers to the station, and I thought, <coughs> excuse me, bit of tea went down the wrong hole there. Uh, yeah, what I thought we'd do today is we could have a little nosy down at Little Astreath. Now this is of course where we built one of our first lines. It's where we built our first railway line, which now uses uh, Northern Rail Class 150s and 156s. Remember when it used Class 101s or 110s or 103s or whatever it used? 113s, I don't know what it used. It used an old BRDMU. Uh, but yeah, that is, uh, so everything's modernized. Now, uh, what I thought we need to do is we need to pay a little bit of attention because it is getting food and it's getting quite a lot of food, to be honest with you. It is growing, but it is still wanting goods. Now, on our quest to provide every town with every industry or every resource, uh, we could really do with getting some goods going. Now, at this moment in time, uh, we'll need another platform because uh, all those are taken up. That's, that's long and short of it. Uh, do we need to actually do we? Hang on, so what are you? You're dropping off. So we could just get the goods to drop off in the middle, couldn't we, really? Um, yeah, that'll work. First of all, let's have a little bit of, uh, you know, anything not to spend a bit of money. You know, well, we can just get them to drop off on the same platform. It'll be fine. 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 Uh, you're kicking off because you're colliding with the station. Flipping heck. Uh, you'll have to be small, then. That's, uh, that's long and short of it. Can we, can we make you a bigger road there, then? We'll put some of the key roads... As, uh, there we go. That'll do. And, uh, so you're going all the way up there. What about down here? Can we, can we get you as a nice, nice posh road? There we go. And how about you? You can be a newer road. Because a lot of these roads are still, uh, they're still cobbled, aren't they? Uh, oh no, they're not. Some of them are, some of them are quite nice. Okay. Oh yeah, some of them are cobbled still. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll modernise, we'll modernise. That word again, modernisation. You can tell it's the northern uh, northern that run up here, can't you? Because they used to say that all the time. We are modernising. Uh, now what we do need to do, of course, is we need to get a, a truck pickup down here. Uh, medium industry, would you say? Yeah. There we go. Now, of course, we bring food in via, uh, you know, direct from here. I think we bring it in by lorry, don't we? Let's have a look. Grain truck, not that one. Uh, there we go, food truck full. It's absolutely chocker. So that's good, we're bringing plenty of food in. Uh, it also means that we can just use this for bringing in uh, in goods. Now we can have our trucks loaded in there because there's not going to be a number of different goods, is there? Uh, now let's have a thing. Should we just use a drop-off? Would it be easier? I think it would be easier, wouldn't it? So we've got a lot of food in this section of the city. City. Would you say we're a city? Yeah, a bit of a town, a bit of a city. It's kind of a, a mixture of both, isn't it? So we'll go there, and uh, we'll then go there. There you go. Uh, oh, there is actually a truck stop right in the middle. Never mind. Uh, that can be the little Astreath distribution one. Now, the little Astreath distribution... Distribution? Distribution? I tell you, I can't speak. Uh, needs to... <clears throat> full load, maximum stop time is forever, and then it obviously unloads in town. Now what that's going to mean is that they're just going to sit and wait there until they're full. Because, you know, there's no point having them running up and down, is there? Uh, we could actually use, you know, we could... Uh, oh, there's a lot of buses here, isn't there? Christ, how many mods have I got installed? And I've still not done your list, have I? Um, <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Let's have TNT. Yeah, one of you. A UPS. Uh, FedEx. Uh, DHL, that'll do. We've not got a post office one. I guess these are probably done by uh, by the Germans out there. There'll be a German repainter out there who's done all these liveries. Little Astreath distribution, you can all just, uh, you can go there. And then at least they don't look like lorries to the UPS, TNT, DHL and FedEx. You can just drive around, can't you? It'll, uh, it'll look brilliant. So, okay, we've got those there. We need to actually, uh, yeah, hang on while we're here as well. You can only pick up goods. That's all I want is goods. 
unload. Yeah, none of that lot. Yeah, none. Just load goods. That's all you're doing there. Thank you. Because, of course, sometimes it, it ends up where you bring in, you know, multiple and it, it just doesn't work, does it? Particularly if I'm making it wait for one uh, one particular type of good. Now, um, that is a point. How are we going to get goods from Fairpont, which is where the goods are currently produced? Have we got a lot of goods waiting? We have got a lot of goods waiting. Couple for Great Mudson, couple for Four Brick. Oh, there's loads, isn't there? Absolutely loads. Not enough plastic coming through, though. So if we can get a bit more of that out, that'd be great. Let's have a look down at the plastics. Yep, we're taking a trip down to that dreaded plastics place again. Are you mecking? Oh, you are mecking. Okay. Okay. I could do with a few more trains on, really, couldn't I? But, uh, you know, just to keep production constant. But never mind. So, yeah. Uh, goods, 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 goods. Would it be better? Because, I mean, here, where can, where can we go there? We could go up there. Oh, yeah, I put this link in, didn't I? In, uh, in one of the other episodes. Because we couldn't actually turn left here that's why we put this in right okay so we, we could do that now what is going up here it's a pink one i want to see uh fallbury goods train right okay yeah see fallbury you're gonna then turn around aren't you okay Yeah, you see, what we could do here is put a single track bit in there and just have the Fawbury Goods train taking them to there and then they can change onto another one. I mean, it's possible. Certainly possible, isn't it? Right, well, let's do that then, because then we're not having more trains than necessary running up and down. Is Joe actually thinking of something efficient rather than just banging trains in willy-nilly? I, I might be. You know what? I'm, I'm a little bit like, mm, yeah, he might actually be doing this. Bit of efficiency. I never hurt anybody, did it? Right, let's have 40. There we go, bit of 40. And we're going to come out like that. That'll do. Yeah, lovely. Is that going downhill? I don't want it to go downhill. I just want you to stay flat. 40 the whole way around. That is uh, that is good news. Um, Right, I don't really... That's a bit close to the station, isn't it? Oh, I like that sound. I probably say this in every episode, don't I? I like the uh, the new bulldozing sound. It says, right, so we can keep you at forty, yeah, and we'll just run you as like a single track down here. Yeah, are we are we happy with that? I don't know. There you go. We'll run you through there, and then can we just can we just do that? No. Nope. Yeah, of course you can't do that, you idiot. What about, what about a bit of that? No, no, because there's, there's too many junctions. Too many junctions. So we're going to bring you to there. Yeah, uh, one way, no. But you are one way, so it'll stay as a one way signal. Yeah, lovely. And you can go that way. No, you can go. You can, you can, you can sort of, there we go. 40 mile an hour the whole way. Lovely. Now nothing's changed, has it? That's all good. Okay, so you can at four Brit load from the other platform. Uh, which one are you on now? You're on. Uh, you're on. Uh, which one's which? Oh, that is platform one, right? Okay. Yeah, I want you to load all. Uh, you can wait as long as you want, and you can only load goods. Just goods, and don't unload anything. Smashing. Uh, you don't actually need any bricks, because if it did need bricks, we could bring bricks back, but you don't need bricks. Flipping thing. So you're going to go there, you're going to load. Uh, you can then go. Uh, I'll just pop that back on now, because we don't need that. You're going to go over there, round there, through there. Click on station to add. Oh, we don't actually need to do it, do we? We can just, we can just whiz you straight up to here. In platform 2, please. Yep, platform 2 will do. And if platform 2 is busy, you can use 3 and 1. And then for coming back... <laughs> we need to... Uh, so we've got you on this side, haven't we? So you're on the freight line. Yeah, that's lovely. And same for... It's a shame that... I, you know what? I'd really, really like as a feature on this. You know how we've got the platforms? Going 1 and 2. 
so you can like you can go to a different platform if it's busy I'd like that on a through road so it's meant to come through this platform but if that's got a train in it it can go round that's what I'd like make things a lot more efficient wouldn't it right so you're doing that are you actually uh, oh no you're coming back through right okay we'll put a signal here Possibly. Where's my signal? Main line. Yeah, one way. No. Put a signal there, and then we can use it as a waypoint, can't we? There you go. So you're going to go through on the mains. Thank you. Pop across here. Oh, hang on. What's happening now? You're not using me. Oh, flipping egg. Now, I want you to. I want you to to go there, please. Yeah. Thank you. A lot of freight traffic coming through here, isn't there? Oh, that well, that's not worked, has it? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You need to click an add after on this game, don't you? There we go. All that effort just to get that in there, flipping heck. Uh, so you will be. What are you? You're just line one at the moment. I've not named you anything, have I? So you will be the little Astreath goods train. Now I don't think we need a massive train here, do we? Really. Um, I don't think that it's going to be that busy. So, we're going to use a diesel locomotive. What could we use? Have we got a new livery for the Class 20? Hashtag save the Class 20. Uh, I can't even see the flipping thing. Can you? Shout out if you can see Class 20. Oh, it's there. BR Green. Oh, what have we got? So we have actually got some new look. Right. Oh, smashing direct rail services. We're having it. We're absolutely having it. Right. There we go. Cab are you. And we're going to have some, some cargo wagons. What can we have? Flatbed wagon. Lovely. Container wagon. Yeah, lovely. You can take goods. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six will do. 210 capacity. Oh, no. Five. Let's just have five. It's a bit late now. Right, get rid of you. Buy another. That was not the most efficient way of doing that ever, but uh, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry. Little Astreath goods train. Oh, look at him go. Someone did actually suggest uh, in the comments that I change the livery on the other Class 20 because it looks a bit weird running around in BR Blue, and uh, I could not agree more. Let's have a bit of a... Ah. Let's have a... Oh, there we go. Right, we can... we can. Oh, look. Look, everybody's on the platform to see the Class 20. Well, you just need to hashtag save the Class 20. That's what you need to do. Uh, okay, it's making taking a photo a little bit difficult. You know, just, uh, just a little bit difficult. Come on. Oh, I think he's getting out in front of the Class uh, 155 there, isn't he? Heck. There we go. Lovely. Oh, smashing. Oh, I'm thrilled with that. As will class 20 lovers around the world. You'll be uh, you'll be absolutely thrilled to bit. Oh, it's got a red fan on the top. Oh, one five five's off. I mean, it's not exactly a particularly efficient way of doing it. I mean, uh, actually, do you know what? I might, I'll, t I'll take that back. It is quite an efficient way of doing it, really, when you think, because at least we're keeping that line separate, and we're not joining them in straight away, are we? Um, and, of course, it would just mean another train running there empty, there and back, there and back. So this means that, hopefully, the train that brings goods to Forbury will be busier. I mean, <laughs> are we holding out hope? But it'll be busier because it'll have to provide this train with resources as well. So it's like two trains in one, isn't it, up here? And then they move the goods onto another train. I can't see what's, you know, what's not efficient about that. I think, I think that you should actually be quite proud of me for that because that's not my normal way of thinking, is it really? Oh, there we go. Uh, which reminds me, while you're fueling, fueling, reloading, loading, 
not even reloading. Let's just nip over here and see where our class 20 is. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a lot there, isn't there? Right, manage vehicles. Edit. What have we got on back of here? Is it flat car? Is that what I'm using? No. Okay, I'm using something a little bit smaller. Uh, what am I using? I've forgotten what wagon. Is that it? No. Oh, does it does it not tell you? It'd be really useful if you could just tell me. State car wagon. No. That one. Flat car with... No, it won't, well, it won't be that, will it? FS container wagon. There we go. Let's have another two, three, four. Another couple of you. And uh, we'll change the class 20 on the front of those. We'll repaint them. Uh, diesel loco. That really threw me with the fact that that's, uh, that's in green. There we go. And shift. Ping it down to that end. Lovely. Now where are you? You're, uh, oh, you've got a bit of everything on, haven't you? Where are you? Oh, you're going this way as well. Oh, you've actually got some food on. Oh, there's a Voyager going, look. Everything's kind of at a bit of a standstill, have we? Oh, what's happened? Oh, it's just waiting for... Yeah, there's a bit of a queue. 350 coming past. Where do these actually go? Does everything... Brown, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, because some of them will come down here, won't they? So we've got a 66 waiting... I mean, what, what are you? Oh, you're a 66 with a funky front end. Okay. We've got the, the Class 20 waiting on the bridge. We've got another Stobart Railway in there with a Class 20. Oh, my Lord. This is not good, everybody. Right, hang on. So what can we do here? So you're just fouling that signal. So if we move that signal back a little bit. And get rid of this one. Yeah, there we go. You can start moving. Yay! Right, okay. Well, there's there's one on the way, at least. Oh, you're moving again. You're only a little one, so that Stobart should carry on. I've, I've not deleted that signal. What did I delete? I don't know. Brilliant. Right, you're continuing to move. What else have we got? That I mean, you're going to be coming to a stand now, aren't you? Flipping egg. I suppose it's it's customary to wait while the Voyager goes past, I guess. You know, because he's going a lot faster. Well, I say he's going a lot faster. He's only doing 75. He's lost 9 million. Heck. That driver will be getting a please explain. Why have you lost your 9 million? And why is there nobody on board? So that's now going to go again. Yeah, this is a bit of a bottleneck of a junction, isn't it, really? See, what I could do, I guess... Hmm. Yeah, because you see, a lot of these, it might actually be better. What, what are we running here? In terms of speed, we're running at 50. We're running at 60. We're running at 50. But then it goes to 60. Right, okay, okay, okay. So, what we could do is we could run at 60. Yep. Bear with me, because I've got a plan. So we could keep you like that. Yeah. Run you down here, parallel with that. Yeah, lovely. Loving that so far. All's good. We might have to the condition of multiple trains and vehicles and such and whatnot. It's very poor. Great. So, you could... Go round there. You're not going to work while that signal's there, though, are you? Right, so you could... You could oh, you see, this is going to be brilliant. You can stay at 60. Oh, you go to 50 then, don't you? Flipping Nora. Uh, you'll go back down. Take the wires away, because we're... Do we, do we need the wires at this point? We'll leave the wires on. It's fine. And then do the exact same. Mirror next door, please. Lovely. Okay, that that's a bit weird. They're just stopping the floating. Can we, can we have a stanchion, please? 
There we go. That's better. So, that is lovely. Meaning that now... Oh, uh, hang on. There we go. If we take you out, take all these signals out, because this can be bidirectional. So that actually, if you don't need to interact with the other track, then you, you don't need to interact, do you? Do you see what I mean? I don't really get what you mean, Joe. If you don't need to interact, you don't need to interact. Well, you've, you, it doesn't really make sense, does it? Uh, hang on. I've put that with no... Oh, no, I have. I have. Okay, I have. It's fine. It's fine. Right, so we'll put you there and there. You can go there as well. And then where you are, you can go there and there and there. And then you can go there and there. Is that going to work? I don't know. Let's have a nosy. So, have we got... We've not got anything. <laughs> Nothing running down here, for goodness sake. Is it because I've given you, like, waypoints? So, the Piddlemouth Bricks train is an excellent contender. No, I haven't. So, it's obviously quicker to come across and back across. So, Little Astreath, and then you go to Piddlemouth, and then you can come back via this one, please. Ding! There we go. And then coming back the other way, you can come back by this one as well. There you go. So that completely avoids and doesn't need to cross over. So hopefully that should just pootle on past with not a care in the world. What are you doing? You are going North Killtown Grain. You will have to cut across. Okay. There's not a lot we can do about that, is there? Um, now, the, uh, the Class 20s that are full, you will be able to go, hang on, what's the sort of Piddlemouth signal? What is that? That's there, right, okay. And then, you're going to go there. And then coming back, you can go there. Yeah. And then you don't have to cross over either. Brilliant. Are you going now? Yeah, lovely. Have we got any other contenders, please? We've got that peach line. Where do you go? You go around there, okay. Uh, we've got the green and the brown line. I think they both go down there. Right, well, do you know what? It's taken a little bit of traffic off. It's not going to fix everything. Oh, you're crossing over anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, cheers for that. I guess he's not got his, uh, he's not got his orders yet, has he? I like the little evergreen containers that he's got on. It's cute, isn't it? That other one behind will have a full load as well. Yeah. A lot waiting, isn't there, really? Oh, you need to. You need. We need a signal here, don't we, so that they can pull right up to the junction as well. Because otherwise, this is uh, this is causing a bit of congestion down here. Oh, hang on. What's happened? You're waiting to go. This is a bit unfair, isn't it? Why couldn't he draw up to that signal? Which way are you going? So you're going to Puddle Bridge. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, we can't, we can't get around that, unfortunately. Oh, new route master. Pink or black. That's for ice cream, isn't it? No. Uh, Euro tunnel, Euro, uh, BR class 92, 318s. Oh, we could have 318s. But this isn't based on Scotland. Yeah, but I mean, to be fair, it's only just based on the general England area, isn't it? Ooh. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? We've not really got a metropolis, have we? Because if we just pop into a depot... Where, where's the nearest depot? It's up here, isn't it? If we pop into this depot... I want to be able to run, like, look, central line. I mean, hell, that can, that can fit a few on, can't it? I want to be able to run, like, a... Um, like, an underground. 1992, yeah, yeah. What, what's the difference? Oh, that's weird. You can fit 78 on. You can fit 198. Well, I, I think you're a four car. What are you? Oh, you're just a double set. Okay. Um, but that can't be right, because 78 is not half of 198. How does that work? Oh, I don't know. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to be able to run like some underground style trains. Do, do you reckon that there's somewhere we could do that? Let's have a look. I mean, this is completely just go completely going off at a tangent. I mean, we could, like, run underground from Little Astreath to North Killtown. I mean, we've got that much money. We could run an underground system to Piddlemouth. 
Because, I mean, it's a massive... The, there's a lot of... But then, of course, you just kill off your demand for the, um, for the London Midlands, don't you? Well, there's a lot of traffic down here, so we could cut back on the London Midlands and then run a... Yeah, but then again, if you've got an underground from there to there, you kill off that branch line, and I quite like that branch line. Let's have a look further down the map, see if we've got anywhere down here. We have Great Mudton, Mudton the Marsh, and Mudton Cross. The Mudton Underground. Oh, that'd be ace, wouldn't it? Sod it, we're doing it. Um, right, hang on. Have we got an underground station? Completely going off at a tangent here. Uh, underground, 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 underground. No, 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 no. I'm sure I had a lovely underground station somewhere. That one. With adjustable platforms. Oh, look at that. Uh, all right, okay. Yeah, so there's a, there's a thing in the middle. Radius... Platform length. How long is our train? I mean, 160 should cut it, shouldn't it, really? Um, we've got other depots. I don't know why I'm flying down here to this one. So you will be the 198 carrying. So you'll be 135 metres. Oh, so we can fit you in 160 metres. So 160. Track numbers two. Can we have, can we have just just? Oh hang on, what's that? So that's a really slope station. Okay. Oh, you can. There we go. Just no slope will do. Thank you. Track numbers just two. Electrified tracks. Platform on the left. Force to you. I don't know what all that is. Uh, right. Let's just shove that there. Right. So at least an entry and a platform level are needed. Oh, right, so we need a... Yeah, we need an entry. Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm just kind of thinking now. How do we make an entry? Is that there? No, that's a station with common platform heights. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a bit like Ruleben, isn't it? With a massive... On a massive hill... There. Right, how do we... Yeah, I, I want to know how to make the station entry. Oh, it'll be here somewhere, won't it? Let's have a look. Can I, can I just configure... Ah, oh, there we go. Upstairs, downstairs, track, track, cap, platform. Um... What, what are you? Hang on. What's Great Mudton Annex? Oh, you're Great Mudton Annex. Um, well, it says it's finalised, but where's the entry? I don't know. I, I, last time I played this, and I made uh, an underground... Hang on, what's, what's happening here? Oh, hang on! You you can see it. Oh, this is a disaster! Look what's happened here. You can you can. It's not underground. You can actually see the damn thing. Are you meant to be able to? Oh, I don't. do you know what? We're just going to delete all of that because that is a disaster. Maybe underground systems are not meant to come to this game. Um, if you know a good mod, please do let me know in the comments section because I'm just looking and uh, we are rapidly running out of time. I'm just going to double check what's happening up at uh, up at Forbury. I don't think that we're going to have any cargo on at all. Hey, presto, who'd have thought we've got no cargo on at all? Um, but yeah, we're going to pick this up in the next episode. We're going to see how that's doing and like I say... Uh, I really do want to see some sort of underground line running in this. And uh, so, yeah, if you know a really good mod for underground stations, please do, of course, let me know in the comments. Uh, of course, if you've seen something that you'd like to see us doing, or if you've seen something that I've missed, you know, you're like, come on, Joe, you've, you, you could do this, you could do that, you could do the other. Do, of course, let me know in the comments. It's always appreciated. And I do like to see what your ideas would be. When we have finished with this series, I will, of course, post a full mod list, and I shall post the save game on the workshop because of course we are kind of getting to the end of this struggling to think of things to do now um, but yeah the, the cargo to every town is kind of a main thing that we're focusing on 
Uh, but yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Other than that, as I say, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.